called Blake Rainier from Tree Whip Company, and we're going to go over one of the main basic whip cracks called the sidearm. The sidearm and the overhead whip crack are definitely some of the basics with the cattlemen's and the overhead crack, but I would say that these two cracks are the ones you'll be most frustrated with learning. It has to do with the way you generate momentum. Now, here's what the sidearm flick looks like, right? Just like I'm, you know, throwing a baseball sidearm, I think that's what they call it, so. Now from the side. Now with this sidearm flick, um, when you get momentum from a whip, the cattleman's is the easiest one to learn first because it's easy to get the momentum pointed in the opposite direction you want to cast forward, which helps generate this rolling curves. Kind of like the overhead, again, it allows the, the power of the swing to develop the weight shift and the momentum to create that rolling curve easier. The sidearm has the disadvantage of this because that's why it's called the sidearm flick, or it can because I have to kind of flick it out there. I don't, I can't really pull it back like that, then flick, unless I was doing it an over, a reverse overhead craft and gain the momentum. So it's kind of got a pause to get the weight going. So you're gonna raise it up and pause. And when you pause, you wanna see the, you don't need to see it, but you can feel it, but you're gonna see the weight when it come down. So the biggest problem with rookies is they'll just raise it up and crack it, raise it up and crack it, and it doesn't really crack very well because they need to raise it up and pause to get that momentum. So we're gonna raise it up and pause a second before we flick it out. And it really helps to add just a little bit of a snap at the end with this type of crack. So once again, they just raise up and swing it. They kind of have problems with it. Kind of get that whip going. But if you pause for a second and then crack it out, it gets that pop to go a little better. Okay. Now the sidearm flick is probably the most frustrating, and as opposed to even the overhand flick, not only because of the momentum shift, but it, I'm not creating the weight to drop on the same plane I'm cracking it. Uh, the overhand flick, I'm creating the weight easier as I crack it forward. And it actually stays in the same line. Well, this one kind of comes up on this vertical line to get the weight going, but then I flick it horizontally. So it can be a lot harder to generate than that. All right. Again, this is uh, the sidearm flick. You're probably most frustrated as you start. Let the people know you're teaching that it is the most frustrating, but once they get it down, it's pretty easy to do. You know, you can talk about the weight shift, momentum, the angles, things like that to help them understand it better. And let them know, again, just reinforce that it does take time and this is the hardest. And if they're just even getting the flow of it and not hitting themselves, definitely on a first day, they're doing really good. Make sure to encourage people. Let them know that, you know, that mistakes are part of learning because with failure, there's instruction. You fail you can see and think why am I failing and hopefully if you're helping them and watch them they can see tell them they're they're practicing their home trying to get it try to have somebody film it and look at it maybe usually you don't have a mirror available unless you're in some sort of studio so uh, definitely have a camera going just to record and just watch yourself at the angles and see if you're noticing the weight shift for a bad hole all right once again this is the sidearm flick my name is Blake Brady from Train Whip Company I hope this helps you help others God bless and have a good day